Hello guys, I'm Sammy from Acrobat.net and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite game cheating apps on Android devices which is Game Guardian. Now if you're new to this, uh, you will need a rooted phone for this and you will also need to install some system apps which, you know, you have to have in order to edit uh, games on your Android device. So if you don't know how to root phones, how to install system apps and so on, then you might want to refer to our um, mobile section on HackerBad.net and you'll find all the tutorials and all the stuff that you need in order to set this up. Now, once you installed Game Guardian, let's just have a look at it um, using your favorite patcher or favorite system app installer. Basically, all you do is you click on the Game Guardian app and you'll launch it, launch app. And basically what it will do is it will make this little icon up here appear, um, which is the Game Guardian icon, which then allows you to actually edit values in your games, such as your money value, your health value, whatever kind of value you want to cheat, you want to hack, you will be able to do that. Now, the game that I'm going to use to demonstrate this real quick is going to be Tiny Miner. Um, this is just a random single player game, and that's actually important. It usually has to be a single player game, not an online game such as Clash of Clans, Pokemon Go, whatever you may have in the future. Um, this usually works best with single player games. Some um, aspects of online games may be processed on your device as well, but it's really rare to find that. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate this real quick. Um, Basically, you click on your Game Guardian icon and you get a value that you want to hack. In this case, I'm going to hack my money, which is at the moment at 300. Obviously, it would be nice to have a little bit more of that. So let's give ourselves some more money. Uh, what you do is you click your Game Guardian icon and then you basically just um, select the app that you might want to edit. In my case that would be Tiny Miner. Uh, you go for whatever game you want to hack and you go to known value which lets you scan for a value that you actually know. Obviously I know my money is at 300 so I'm going for known value. We're entering our money value and we're going to for, for a search. Uh, go to auto if you don't know exactly the, the value tab you're looking for and that will work just fine for almost everything. Now this will scan the whole process or the whole app for values of 300 which we have come up with a thousand roughly. Uh, if we were to change all of these at once that will make the game crash which is not what we want so we want to narrow down the selection by scanning again after having changed the value if that makes sense. Now that's just simply because um, we can just scan again after we have changed the value and it will scan among these 1000 values to find the exact right one that we're looking for. So we're closing this real quick. We're going into the shop to spend some money. We're buying some ladders uh, just to change the value. Now it's at 255. So we go back into Game Guardian. And now we're going to scan among these 1000 values that were previously at 300 for the ones that have changed to 255 in order to find the right ones. So let's search for it and we're left with two. Now that's perfect because um, usually you're looking for less than 10 values before trying to change anything because well the risk of crashing the game is pretty high. So two is perfect. Now if you still have more than 10, you basically just go back into the game, you change the value again, and you scan again until you're left with less than 10 values. Now at that point, you can just basically select the values and change them to whatever you like. I'm going for just maybe 9,999 because it's a beautiful number. And there we go, they're both changed now. And we're just gonna close this. And as you can see, I now have 9,999 monies, previously 255. So um, that's one of the basic functionalities that Game Guardian has. You can just simply change values. Now it also has, if you're just going to delete these real quick, a advanced functionality, which is the encrypted value. Now, um, since a lot of game developers don't want to make cheating too easy for people, um, they encrypt their values using simple multiplication, for example. So um, in the memory, the, va the value will show up as 80, for example, when in reality in the game it's 10, all right? 
So what that results in you scanning for 10, but the actual value is 80. So this encrypted value function allows you to scan for very, very simply encrypted values, such as multiplication and stuff like that. Um, but that's an advanced function. Uh, there's also some more advanced functions like speed hacks, so you can slow down or speed up your game, which is very, very useful in a lot of games, even online games. You might want to try that. And that's one that even works with some online games, which is quite awesome. Uh, beyond that, there's also a lot of other functionality, but I can't get into that at the moment. I might make a tutorial later down the line if you want to download Game Guardian, there will be a link in the description of this video or on the article wherever you're watching this video. And yeah, this is actually one of the favorite, uh, one of the most favorite apps for cheating in any kind of mobile app that I have found so far. It's one of the best ones, that, the ones that offer the most functionality. I do highly recommend it since it is free and it is pretty, pretty awesome. So, uh, if you want to search, find some more uh, apps to cheat in your mobile games, just go to hackerbutt.net slash mobile. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.